everyone, it's Sid at uh, Cool Movie Gram. Hope you're well, hope you're safe uh, today. Had half a day up from work, now I'm off for uh, a couple of, well, for this week and the whole of next week, and uh, just spending time with the missus. And, um, yeah, I managed to go to HMB as well, and picked up uh, Forbidden City Cop. This is, of course, the 88 Films release. It's a Blu-ray, um, and... It was the last one there remaining, and it was the um, with the old case. Now I've seen this film many years ago. I watched it on, um, I think it was uh, on VCD, and I thought it was hilarious. And of course, it's got the main man Stephen Chow. It's got um, Karina Lau and Carmen Lee. Uh, yeah, definitely, it's just a, an array of like uh, Hong Kong stars. And then also it's uh, co-directed by Stephen Chow, uh, of course, um, who's better known for films such as Shaolin Soccer and Kung Fu Hustle uh, from, uh, you know, thanks to the uh, international exposure they got. So it's just nice to see one of his, uh, his actual Hong Kong comedies prior to those ones actually getting released such as this. Now, of course, this is like a limited edition. So I was kind of, I'm kind of glad that I actually was able to pick this up. And uh, yeah, so of course, let's just do the unboxing now. Of course, as you can see, it's got the, this, it's kind of nice kind of matte feel to the, um, to the case. It's quite cool, you know. I mean, of course, there's, usually they have a very glo like shiny, glossy kind of feel to their cases in terms of um, their releases. And... Um, yeah, but this one has like a very matte type of feel to it. You know, it's like a rubbery kind of matte feel. And again, Kung Fu Bob smashes it out of the park. He, his artwork just captures more or less what this film is pretty much about. It's just batshit, crazy, insane bit stuff going on. I mean, you've even got like a, a little alien there and uh, he's got all these different characters and yeah, just zany kind of like inclusions now. And um, yeah, let's just see what this comes with. It's um, it's a limited edition with a slipcase and A3 fold-out poster with brand new artwork from RP Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. How to the yes. Four collectible original lobby card reproductions. A new HD remaster presented in original... 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio, uh, Cantonese DTS HDMA mono and stereo audio options, newly remastered English subtitles, audio commentary by Asian film expert Frank Jeng from the New York Asian Film Festival. His commentaries, especially the works that the work that he's done on the uh, Eureka uh, Blu-rays. For a lot of the Hong Kong movies is absolutely amazing. So definitely, if it's got Frank Jeng's commentary, he's the one guy I always look forward to hearing. And there's also another audio commentary by Hong Kong cinema aficionados Mike Leader and Arne Venema. I love their, them whenever them two. They're like a great kind of duo when they do their audio commentaries. In particular, I loved um, I love the Fearless Hyena for eighty eight films there. The commentary on that was actually really good. Uh, it was it was fun to watch as well. It was very insightful, but at the same time, as you could tell that the both of them, whenever you hear their commentary, they're always having a laugh. And uh, yeah, also there's archive of behind the scenes feature it with newly translated English subtitles. You got the original Hong Kong trailer, reversible sleeve with original Hong Kong poster artwork. Right now, let's get into this. See what this is about. So of course, you got the limited edition slip case mm -hmm. and of course this is the dvd with kung fu bob's awesome artwork of course and then we've got the uh the original theatrical poster artwork when it came out in uh, 96 i think it was in hong kong yeah and yeah like more or less majority of like stephen chow's movies that were made like in the 90s it was a huge like, box office success and this was probably one of my favorites i would say i'd put it 
up there among the ranks of like um of course Shaolin Soccer, um King of Comedy. I loved All for the Winner, um Kung Fu Hustle, uh which other ones? Oof. I actually like the God of Gamblers um sequels. Uh, movies like uh, All Hail the Ju uh, Hail the Judge that was really funny and um, yeah it's just great I, I even you know I know some people say that it's overrated but I actually thought um, Justice My Foot was actually a pretty good movie that was actually really well made in terms of it had a decent story and the comedy was great especially uh, Stephen Chow's kind of scenes in the courts and uh, his interactions with Anita Moy that I I enjoyed that movie I mean some people say it's overrated but I just say uh, you know what. Each to their own. I, I thought it was hilarious. And I love Tricky Bain Tricky Brains. Again, that's that's another just downright hilarious movie. Yeah. I mean with uh Stephen Chow and Andy Lau, yeah. Now of course these are the lobby cards. So you've got the uh got this little kind of logo thing and credits at the back of that one. Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, just a generic kind of like just a Pick up the main character. Now, of course, this film, I mean, you can see you've got the silhouette of uh, Stephen Chow's character, Ling Ling Chat, which means uh, 007. It's like a kind of a spoof of the spy genre of the espionage movies, like the James Bond movies and such, but just set in like ancient, ancient China. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, um, and of course, yeah. Oh, well, one of the most memorable scenes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> There you go. As you can see, it's, it's almost like this is pretty much the uh, the opening sequence. You know, the title sequence this is and uh, at the back. And there, that's the last one. Yeah. There we go. And what do we have here? Hmm. It's just a... It's not a double-sided poster, so you don't get the original theatrical poster. But you do get the awesome Kung Fu Bobs. You know, artwork which is used for the DVD cover so uh, yeah it's actually really this is actually really cool considering normally it's a landscape but normally Kung Fu Bob's posters usually are, um, are a portrait but this is done horizontally so that's pretty cool I like this yeah uh, Defo, well, uh, got this to review. I've got, um, I'm going to be reviewing, of course, the uh, the Eight Diagram Pole Fighter release from 88 Films as well. And again, so far, from what I can see of this uh, release, I would say that, yeah, definitely, this, um, this is actually, you know, once again, in terms of, like, presentation and packaging, um, I feel that um, 88 films definitely are the you know are the are the, are the business. They mean business when it comes to uh, comes to these, uh, especially when it comes to these Hong Kong releases. And you know, getting someone like Kung Fu Bob to do these um, do these kind of like art, well covers and his artwork, it just it's just really amazing. It's, it's just really good. It's a great time for first for people who love Hong Kong cinema, especially if they've actually started getting these Blu-rays. I mean, definitely because you get the best, you know, the film in the best presentation possible. Thanks to companies like uh, 88 Films, you have Eureka with their releases. And, um, you know, in the UK, they're the ones who are actually kind of doing the best that they can in terms of like making sure that some of these titles, some more popular than others, and some not very well known in the West are actually still getting that exposure to the Western market. And the fact that you get these, some of them in like 2K and 4K restorations, it's just, it breathe, they breathe new life into these films. They absolutely, it's, it's just perfect. So uh, definitely, I would check this out now. Um, okay, so once again, thank you. Please give us a thumb, give this video a thumbs up and um, also follow me on Instagram. Also, um, and t leave in the comments, out of all the Asian films released by 88 Films in particular, 
Which one is your favorite? Mm -hmm.